Good day YouTubers. I've just filmed the segment which you're about to see here um, not realising I haven't turned the microphone on. Uh, there's three letters from uh, viewers which I've just stood there and opened um, with no sound. So firstly I just want to say thank you to uh, Stephen Wiz Wisniewski, uh, Lisa Jackson, Clippersoft, um, Barry Blanchard and Anne Hilton Adams for some fabulously generous and completely unexpected contributions on PayPal. Right, thank you. Uh, and the first, the first thing was, where are we? First thing was a card uh, from uh, Stephen and Jane, and it says all the best, Kevin, for 2022 from Stephen and Jane at Settle in North Yorkshire. Just love the shows, smiley face. Well, thank you, Stephen and Jane. Lovely card. Right. And the next one was a letter. They only sign it SM. Mystery viewer. I do. I do like mystery viewers. And uh, a letter, dear friend. They like to tell me how much they've enjoyed watching the channel and the cruises. And uh, there's tips and so on with strength, energy, comfort. And uh, yeah, I'll read that later. That looks a, that looks a good read that, and then they provided uh, the ever helpful uh, copy of the Watchtower. Um, a better world is near. Well, I'll raise a mug of tea to that. Mm. And the final one was I received a, a contribution on PayPal. Uh, a couple of weeks ago I think it was and with a message saying that the second half of my belated Christmas present was winging its way from America and this is from Janet Janet S uh, together with a letter which I'll read later and she sent I, I wonder why it was quite weighty it's one of those it's one of those tokens it's a metal token very similar to when Ewan and Charlie did the long way round and they were given a token uh, by someone who'd helped out to deliver to a, their, her, uh, his sister in America when they got there eventually. And this one, this one says, get lost. Now I thought that's all it was. I thought, get lost. <laughs> Thank you. But it says in the right direction. And that is very lovely. It, it's, a, it's metal. I don't know if it's like high lead content. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's very heavy. There's um, quite a a weight to that, so that is fantastic. That thank you very much, Janet. Right, let's go back a little bit and see what I've been up to lately. Things are moving on. I've now signed off on the storage. Uh, my Marshall 2x12 100 watt uh, combo guitar amp. I have donated that to a local uh, charity. It would have been a bit of a pain to sell. Um, and also there's my uh, Marin Alpine Trail 29er mountain bike. That's gone to an equally good uh, cause for the same reasons. Uh, also, because it's my little way of paying back to the Garstang community, um, I, can't, I can't think of a better place to have been stranded for the past two years. Um, it's been an absolutely fabulous place. I've uh, washed and prepared the BMW, and that is going up on Flea Bay in, well, probably tomorrow, I think. And uh, hopefully, uh, that will go quite quick. I'm going to do it at a keen price. She's a fine bike, uh, but she's been a workhorse. Mechanically, she wants for nothing. She's been serviced on the dot, and maintained regardless. A fine, reliable workhorse. 25th of January. 
um, the BMW is sold and it's gone. <laughs> Probably the quickest listing and sale I've ever done. I put it up on eBay, classified listing, last night at about 10 o'clock. By 11 o'clock, I'd had a message and I had a to and fro messages with the guy. He said, yep, I'll pay your asking price. Turned up with a van just now, half past 12, loaded in the back, money done. So the BMW was the final hurdle. Um, yeah, my God. So now, apart from I've got a pile of stuff to sort out, things that I might give away, some stuff I'll keep, some I'll sell, there's various bits and pieces, some stuff which I've dragged around with me since the beginning and have never used. Now then, my fate and that of Aslan's is entirely in the hands of Garstang Marina, DCL Transport, and Hesford Marine on the Bridgewater. I have complete faith. A viewer recently commented that once I've sold both my bikes, it wouldn't be very long before I started getting those urges and cravings for another one. Well, I'm ashamed to admit it, but they were right. I started to develop an itch which I scratched with this. It's a Rally Evo 2 folding bicycle. And yes, before anybody says anything, I didn't buy a Brompton because the cheapest in Halfords was about 800 pounds. And for that price, I can buy three of these. Uh, this one was 275 pounds and I'd still have change left over for various accessories. It's a good, solid belts and braces, straightforward and strong construction, welded alloy frame, 20 inch wheels, seven speed twist grip Shimano gear change, folding pedals, rack as standard, and a side stand. Folds down, super quick. Pedals fold off with the safety catch, pull out the lever, and round we go. Grand. Well, that's it for now then. Just a quick uh, mention that I think some of you may have missed uh, where I answered some questions in the previous video, um, especially the one about where all the new videos are gonna be. They're gonna be exclusively on YouTube. Uh, nothing else, no, you know, no more on Amazon. Um, everything from now on is YouTube, as far as I can foresee. Um, right, well, that's it. I think it's only about, it must be around about four weeks now before I go on the hard standing, or maybe four weeks, when I get lifted onto the lorry, but uh, there we are. Oh yeah, and the other thing um, a few of you asked is why am I going on the lorry? Uh, it's, as I said in a previous video, um, it's because the link doesn't open until about the end of April, middle of April, maybe the start of May, um, and uh, my mooring runs out at the end of February, and well, <laughs> anyway, um, so mainly because I wanna get on the canals and get going. So there you go. Thank you so much, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Cheers for now. This is a proper trough. It is the trough of Boland. Look at this. Wow, it's a huge valley. Oh, my word. I never knew any of this was here. This is stunning. Wow. This 
is literally, I don't know, what, six, seven miles from Garstang? Get some nice drone footage around here. I have to say this, so far, Trump's uh, corny fell. I'm sorry to say, happy to say. around all the bends because most of the car drivers I've encountered don't seem to realise there might be other people on the road. Look at these roads, they're quite smooth, they're just up and down. Is that some sort of reservoir thing there? Maybe sewage treatment works? Staggering. 